Hey Glow Winners, it's Loudy6 here with another video. It's been a while since we've done one like this. Sit next to each other, just being a couple. <laughs> Are we being shot at? <laughs> it's been a while since we've done a video where we're just talking about stuff as a couple. Unfortunately, uh, we are not a model couple. Mm, we are no. the kind of couple that, um, well, China has decided to make us as an example as potentially one of the worst types of couples. Mm -hmm. uh, just because of how miserable I've made your life. Tell everybody of a story though. Actually, it's one of uh, my mom's really close friend. She's actually really concerned. She found out like me and him have problem through an internet that like showing our video. The title is Chinese girl after marry with an American boy after three years, she cry every day that's so scared to even uh, be alive at night. Right, so more or less they're saying that after three years of marrying me, this mm. is referring to you, your, uh, your mom's friend mm -hmm. was very concerned when she found a Chinese video mm -hmm. about us mm -hmm. and how you cry yourself to sleep every night. Mm -hmm. why, why do you do this? I don't it's remember. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> People actually steal our video. Yeah, so what happened was uh, one of these very, very popular uh, websites, uh, state media has done this as well. I've been used to propaganda videos uh, talking about how amazing the CCP is, and then they mm -hmm. use a clip of my video just because I'm standing in China, like next to a Chinese flag. They do this quite often. Mm -hmm. This one was just particularly alarming and funny because like, it's literally about the polar opposite of what we actually have. Yeah, and then actually infecting the people, uh, like the friends and family who are seeing this in China and concerned and ask my mother about what's going on. They've used our, our image multiple times. And one of them, I remember, it was an article about why do foreigners always cheat on their, ch their Chinese girlfriends? Mm, yeah. And it was a picture of us in our wedding outfits. <laughs> Like they yeah. could have picked me and like kind of s like sleezing around in one of my videos where I actually look kind of like mm -hmm. I might be doing something bad, but no, our professional wedding mm -hmm. photos. Mm -hmm. They they never pick the right ones. Yeah. Anyway, should we go through this video real quick? Yes. Okay. Instead of ha wasting my time, I'm not going to do subtitles, so Vivi can explain what's going on here. So they said Chinese. Girl marry a uh, American boy uh, after three years. Uh, cry about every night. It's re being really scared. So they go to investigate it. Recently, uh, a lot of a uh, foreign girl join our country uh, to marry our Chinese guy. I would congratulate that happening, but I don't really think there's an uptick in that. It, I don't think there's a big boom in that happening. I mean, I, I hope... think Russian. Yeah, maybe some Look Russians. Look at that picture. It's totally a Russian woman, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> a little concerned her daughter is just white, though. Mm. That is not a mixed girl. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's none of my business. Is this woman taking a selfie? Yes. <laughs> She's like, let's stand up. She's like, F, F off. I'm going to take a picture of myself. All right, let's continue. They said, of course, a, a lot of a Chinese girl married to other country too. In our scenario, mm -hmm. right? Huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so previous they said a lot of Chinese girl marry, marry with an American boy, but still stay in China. But also have a lot of case that Chinese girl marry mm -hmm. out of the country. Right. Uh, so marry, like for example, America. Yeah. And uh, for example, there is a one typical Chinese girl married with an American boy staying in America. Drum roll it, please. By the, by the time she go, after three years, she go back to China. She cry about every single night. She's terrified about something. Let's find out what who this is mm -hmm. and what she's terrified about. Mm -hmm. Oh, so uh, basically they explain that like you scared of at night. It's uh, because recently uh, because of the 
failing economy in America. <laughs> so the <Sorry>. um <clears throat> the <laughs> the crime rate is really high. So 治安不好 means like there is a lot of robbery. Public safety and, issues. Yeah, it's very bad there. Wait, where's this? Uh, but you get where's this economic failure coming from? I don't know. Oh, actually, in、uh, in China there is a yeah, lot of yeah. The state of, media right now. Yeah, the state media keeps saying like, oh, America tried tried to、um, claim that their financial is fine, but actually it's not. They try to distract all the. Uh, uh, distract all the eyes on the economy to other places,、mm-hmm. so that they kill the fairly recent that general. In,、right. Uh, what's it called? You know, it's funny, is that, and I'm not taking sides here, but when the Chinese government makes claims like that, it's、mm-hmm. usually about themselves. <laughs> it's always projectionism. When their actual economy is going down, then they have to actually say. No, America's economy is worse, and look、mm. at what they're doing to distract the public from from view.、Mm. And I actually saw this. This is fairly interesting. I saw this in your dad's when me and your dad talked the other day. His perspective. I don't try to like debrainwash him or something, but his perspective is that yes, our state media sometimes embellishes things and lies to us, but overall we can trust our government. We support our government, right? Whereas your government, Sea Milk, always lies to you in your state media. And it's much worse because you can't trust anything they say. When he doesn't understand that there is no state media, right, and that everyone is free to go get their information from any source that they like. I think his point is trying to say, like, you know, we are really open-minded. We have all、right. different kind of sources. The sources from uh, uh, Australia,、right. Canada, it's all state-run, like, and, <laughs> and People's s- Daily Canada, and,、uh, People's Daily Australia, People's Daily、uh, Hong Kong, People's Daily America. So basically. Like he said, like all the sources we can see, because we not only watch CCTV,、right. we we also watch like that's how brainwashing works. Overseas,、right. uh, Chinese media and telling us what's going on. So、uh, without ign- completely ignoring the fact that it's all state media. He's kind of he said like the fact that he was like so concerned is because when he's um. In Amer- when he visit in America, he read about all the news is from Fa- Falun Gong and all those、mm. because the free Chinese magazine、mm. and、uh, newspaper, he just like too over one sided and he was just terrified about the situation. But by the time he go back to China, everything seems fine. He felt great. So he just realized. I just I that- couldn't believe that he didn't see the irony there. Like he's like, I went back home and I just felt like everything is so much better and I felt so much safer because he's reading filtered news and fabricated news. And he said anyway, like everything is false because it's not happening and blah blah this kind. Anyway, just like the pork prices didn't go up. Anyway,、mm-hmm. let's th- let's put our focus back on us.、Mm-hmm. Sorry, I spoiled it. Compare with China, like、uh, the the you know the safety compared with China, it just. Like drastically different. In in China, every night you can be like <laughs> the light.、Uh, night light is like so bright, so you and then you don't need to be scared. And all the street food is、mm. everywhere. And、uh, not only you can、uh, enjoy the food. A nice food and enjoy the different, and also you can enjoy the different scenery.、Mm-hmm. What does this have to do with crying yourself to sleep? And also, like they're saying,、um, every single night、uh, you can just enjoy everything without being scared. But now in America's night, you know, you're gonna. There's no, <laughs> there's no straight light. There's nobody on the road, <laughs> and everybody just hiding at home,、uh, scared of going out. This is how this is how we are.、Mm-hmm. You guys are so accurate, and I'm, I really have to say thank you to your dad for really opening my eyes to this kind of media. Because before I was going out at night and I kept getting stabbed and shot, <laughs> and now I know to stay at home and hide.、Mm-hmm. 
What is this like? Is this like a Detroit ghetto that they went to? <laughs> okay, they're saying like, uh, <laughs> the night light, but the, the night when it turns to night, there is a lot of trouble comes out. As a lot of people get drunk on the street and fighting each other, and a lot of illegal <laughs> people just robbing on the street. I'm not gonna even talk about open you know container what? laws. You know what? This scene, it's like ridiculous, but I do think like recently I heard about the news in LA somewhere, the Chinese t Chinatown, mm -hmm. I guess. It's not Chinatown, it's like Lo Roland Hill. Oh yeah, yeah. Roland, Roland Heights. Heights. Oh, that place, I, I think. Um, There's some ghettos there. Yeah, they, they kind of scare people. I walked around up there at night for a week though. People said that. Right. But I don't know. I went everywhere there. But it's not the whole oh, America. <laughs> it's, it's like a, saying one spot. It's, in the I whole can make country. the exact same video saying China is the most dangerous country in the world. No one goes out, and I go to some like really poor town in Hunan with a lot of people. Uh, That's rough, dude. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go film that and be like, this represents the entire nation. Not necessarily film it. They technically just yeah, yeah, they stole, just stole it. Stole every like right. weird clips. We really need to get to the best part. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a bunch of boys don't even dare to go together, go out on the street. Don't yeah. even talk about like a weak little girl. Right. That's how they. <laughs> so this girl uh, marry far, far away to America. There's no relative, no friends. So she's really, um, so she's really lonely and sad. So after, <laughs> okay. So after three years, she can no lo longer handle it. She decide to move back to China. And who were we talking about this whole it's time? Us. It's us. It's us. We forgot to break the news to you guys. We decided we're to go back. back to China. Yeah, we're back um, <laughs> because it's really dangerous in America. Well, like I said, it shocked me that America got so bad. And I thank you so much to state media for telling me that because when I used to live in America, I could go out all the time and it wasn't that bad. But now when I go out, I automatically go through a portal and I end up in a Detroit ghetto. Mm. And there's all these like criminal dudes mm. that are just getting drunk in the street and robbing people. <laughs> and because you're a weak girl, um, I have Absolutely. to, I have to keep you safe. But yes. honestly, even as a man, I don't dare go out. Yeah, I kept hiding. So thank you for uh, letting everyone know that we, in fact, moved back I to mean, China. I mean, I need to clarify that this is not. It is a state-run. Um, I mean, it, everything is state-run. We just have to just clarify that. It's a website. That, of but the thing is, it goes the, to the censor board. The, 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 this video is not made by them. I don't know whoever. It's like sure. trending. They, they stole it. Right and it was now. trending. You know, we've had yeah. a couple, to, to wrap this up, we've had a couple of videos like this where they say stuff about us that's completely inaccurate, like total lies, but they go and get like 10 million views. Number one, we get nothing from that. Mm -hmm. Number two, we can't sue anyone because mm -hmm. of that. And number three, and this is the biggest thing, because I'm not someone that's gonna go sue someone for, for misrepresenting me in, in like this. I don't care. The thing I care about is when people get super worried and they contact you and they're like, is everything okay? I, I saw your story. In America? I saw your story. You're coming back? Why don't you get divorced? You know? <laughs> wow. But I love this stuff. It's entertaining. And it, you know what? Thank you to whoever made this because all it's gonna do is if this video is monetized, we'll make a couple bucks back from them using our face, right? <laughs> I want to say thank you to all the patrons out there that support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash 86 behind the scenes, vote on video ideas, and most importantly, you can talk to us directly. And especially, uh, America is so dangerous. Yeah, thank you, you for this Yeah, you totally need to support us because I need to put new locks on my door. Yeah. It's and rough. guns. And guns. Uh, don't forget to tune in every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and you can see another Loudy 6 video right down here, by the way. It will recommend one for you to watch based on your viewing preferences. Go check out the rest of the channel. Binge a little bit. Help us out. Over here, you can watch ADV China every single Monday. Adventure motorcycle talk show on two wheels, me and Winston, uh, every single Wednesday. And, or sorry, every single, every single Monday. And below that, you can check out Winston, uh, Serpent Zeta every single Friday, just in time for a beer. And don't forget our bi-weekly podcast where we talk about Chinese issues really in depth. 
Uh, I know it's too much for people. There's a lot but of But everything's wing, on wing, the wing, screen, wing. right? <laughs> and don't forget, we have a new car channel <laughs> called Worthless Whips so that you should totally subscribe mm. to and help us out. Mm. I want to say thank you so much to the winners, and I'll catch you on the next one.